Uh, of course, there's going to be um, a little anxiety. I mean, but um, our coaches do a really good job of like accept, like accept the feeling, accept the emotions that we're going to feel because like we're all human, you know. So just accept it and um, just stick to the keys and stick to the, our fundamentals that we've been practicing since since the spring. So just uh, relying on those things um, to get us uh, in rhythm and to get us um, just playing like we uh, are capable of playing. Welcome live inside Husky Stadium here in Seattle, Washington. I'm Jay Tuss, and we only have one more sleep until football season, folks. You could hear Taylor Green. He understands the challenge ahead of him tomorrow. Not only is he going to start in the season opener against the 10th-ranked Washington Huskies, but he's going to have to do so in a rather hostile environment. They are expecting this place to be pushed to capacity tomorrow, which is nearly 70,000 fans. How special is this place and how difficult is it to play here? Well, we took a tour of the doghouse earlier today. Welcome to Husky Stadium, home of the Washington football program since 1920. Originally, the capacity of this place was only 30,000, but over the last century, it has more than doubled in size. Washington's first mascot was the Indians, then they became the Vikings, and in 1922, they turned into the Huskies. They quickly adopted a live mascot. This is Spirit. He was born in 1995. The current dog's name is Dubs 2. Good boy, Spirit. The latest renovation here at Husky Stadium was completed in 2013. The two teams featured in the first game after it reopened, Washington and Boise State. At that point in time, they added a new press box, video and audio system, coaches' offices, and a grand concourse that makes this place elite. Husky Stadium also has a reputation of being one of the loudest venues in all of college football. The design here is unique. 70% of the seats are between the end zones, and the rooftops made of metal really trap in the sound. Crowd noise has reached 133 decibels here before, and at one point in time, ESPN claimed that that was a college football record. Fans here have another claim to fame. On Halloween 1981, Husky Yell leader Rob Weller believes that he invented the wave. He initially wanted it to go vertically from bottom to top, but then a fan yelled out, make it go sideways, and it began moving horizontally around the stadium. I know you've all heard of tailgating, but at Washington, their experience is just a cut above the rest. As many as 12,000 fans ride the waves of Lake Washington to Husky Stadium each game day. They call it sailgating. One more thing, the Washington crew team kind of gives you that either or option if you're a fan sailgating. You can either stay in your boat and watch from Lake Washington or you can give them a buzz and they will actually row out to your boat, pick you up and take you to the mainland for the game day. I grew up here in the Pacific Northwest. I can say though that I have never been a part of sailgating, although it sounds an awful amount, like an awful like amount of fun. Um, they call Husky Stadium the greatest setting in all of college football. And a reason why they do that is because of sailgating, is because of how loud this place gets. And the fact that they're gonna pack it with 70,000 fans. And oh, by the way, the Huskies are ranked 10th in the country. When it comes to the national stage Boise's gonna be on tomorrow, well, ABC's in town. This will be a big time college football kickoff game. Boise State kicking off at 1.30 on ABC against the 10th ranked Huskies. It doesn't get any better than that. We have all your coverage. Coming up on KTVB, a reminder, the blueprint, it already aired. It's getting uploaded to KTVB right now. A special look at fall camp for the Broncos. It's gonna re-air tomorrow morning from 8 to 9 a.m. Mountain Time. And then coming up at 11.30 tomorrow morning, we have 90 minutes of the Bronco Roundup Game Day Show. I am talking about one-on-one -on -one interviews with Coach Pete, Andy Avalos, Bush Hampton. The show is absolutely loaded as we get set to kick off the 2023 football season. For now, signing off from the greatest setting, I'm Jay Tuss. This is Idaho's News Channel 7.